Hey guys, for this Monday morning video, I'm sending you a short clip of a long form interview that I did with Paula, my mother, on raising healthy children, how to maintain vibrancy through chiropractic care well into adulthood. Um, just some tips and tricks that, that we practice regularly in our family. That's what then made a tradition in our family. If you would like to hear the whole interview, I'm including a link in the description to this video. You can go ahead and click that. Click that. That'll link you to the full full version. Um, but if not, I just hope you enjoy this little clip that we filmed. And I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Here's a video. Commonplace, but most people don't have a family where they grow up having chiropractic as the cornerstone of health. They look at it as, oh, why would you need a chiropractor if you don't, if you're not right. in pain, if you don't have neck pain or back pain or headaches? And really, we grew up not even thinking of chiropractic in that way. And That's right. Yeah. There's. I never was given any sort of option when I didn't feel good. Um, we didn't go get Advil, Benadryl, any of that stuff. None of that stuff was even in our mm -hmm. house. When I uh, didn't feel good, I would get an adjustment. Now, I, I would I don't ever remember having too many days where I didn't feel good, but there were those times where you would get sick, you'd have a cold. Sick. I do remember there was times I'd be sick and we I'd get adjustment and just drink lots of liquids and sleep on the we hang out on the couch. The and, thing is our family's never put an emphasis on sickness either. No, sickness is always no. one of those things like most people when, when there's a sickness or there's something going around, it's like an emergency. And for us it's like Go drink some water and get on the couch and right. rest. Your body, I, I was always taught your body is meant to heal. It knows how to heal. So when we would get sick, we just knew it was a process the body had to go through to fight off whatever you were going through. And I want to move on to this. I believe that a lot of the way, the reason that we did health a certain, a certain way, the reason we did a lot of things in our life, the, the way you raised us, mm -hmm. is... And this is another thing, and it, and it bleeds over into health, but it has to do with a whole lot of things, is you think, you and dad think for yourselves. Mm -hmm. Where so many people, I read a book, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, and, and one of the biggest points in the whole book that he repeated over and over and over again, that if I were the devil, I would get people to not trust themselves, not think for themselves. They lean on institutions, they lean on things like schools and churches and media, mm -hmm. and they let those sources tell them, mm -hmm. and they would no longer take the opportunity to think for themselves. Right. And that is one, in my opinion, that's one of the the biggest epidemics that I see in culture is especially in healthcare especially in healthcare people don't think for themselves it's it's one of those things they are being told what to think and they're not even thinking whether or not something mm -hmm. makes sense right. and that, that's impacting the direction we know I mean there's no secret we live in a country that's not doing well when right. it comes to health we, we uh, the third leading cause of death in our country is is our medical system. Mm -hmm. The top two are cancer and heart disease. Those are two things that right. are caused by our food and our lifestyle, and we're not doing health well. So where did this like conviction of, of, of being able to think for yourself, not only when it comes to health, but, but also everything else? I'm an adult and I've studied all this stuff. I know that you know more about what you were talking about than a lot of doctors mm -hmm. were, and, and we saw that over and over again mm -hmm. growing up, how, how there right. were things that you, that you would predict and that you would say that doctors were behind mm -hmm. on. And I mean, let's not get into the last three years, right, but, right. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think that that's, that's so, been vindicated by a lot of people that, right. I mean, I always, being a doctor, I know that mom knows best. <laughs> mom knows best. And having a lot of kids under care, moms know their kids. Moms have an intuition and they don't, mm -hmm. a lot of times they don't listen to it. They let right. a doctor's voice overshadow what their own intuition so, is. There was, there was no internet. Hey guys, I wanted to give one final update of what our hours are gonna be starting July 31st. Our new permanent hours are going to effect on July 31st. They're gonna be completely uniform hours Monday through Wednesday with a little bit of a change on Thursday. Monday through Thursday, we will be open from 10 o'clock to 12.30. Every day, Monday through Thursday, we're gonna be open 10 o'clock through 12.30. Every afternoon, Monday through Wednesday, we're gonna be open 2.30 to 5.30. 2.30 to 5.30, Monday through Wednesday, Thursday afternoon we will have no more hours so Monday through Wednesday our hours are completely the same 10 to 12 30 in the mornings 2 30 to 5 30 in the afternoons and then Thursday we'll have hours from 10 to 12 30 in the mornings if you guys have any questions you need the girls to change anything around you just let them know hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day